Hello everyone, welcome to another video from EGIS Associates. Uh, a couple of weeks ago we posted a video about how do you assign licenses for ArcGIS Pro in ArcGIS Online. Since we did that original video, Esri has come out with an update to ArcGIS Online that has changed how you do that. So we wanted to update that process for you and show you how that's changed. So with that December 2018 update, we're going to take a look at, at how that differs from the way we've been doing it in the past. So on December 4th of 2018, Esri released an update to ArcGIS Online, and this included a number of changes and updates, including adding new user types, uh, and a new admin dashboard, a better user experience on small screens, uh, and a host of other things, as you can see when we go here. So uh, see, this is a list from the ArcGIS Online help of things they've added. So uh, again, I mentioned the new user types. They went from two, a level one, level two user to five new user types. They've improved the design so it's more responsive on smaller screens like smartphones and tablets. They've improved the res uh, refresh intervals so you can set that for tables and web maps. How often does that reset? Uh, an update, uh, some analytical things with creating drive times and routing has been improved. Working with 3D GIS has also been improved in the latest update. Um, anyway, you can see this list of things that has been improved with ArcGIS Online. And I'll make sure to include a link to this page in the description of the video so you can check this out in more detail. So now let's look at how the assigning of licenses has changed in ArcGIS Online with this new update. Let me just go ahead and click over here. Uh, how you get to your licenses and how you assign members and all that hasn't changed. You still go to ArcGIS.com and you log in. And if you're an administrator, it takes you to your organizational dashboard with this overview, right? So that you can still see the number of credits you have. Uh, you can see the name of your organization, the logos being used, download current activity, see how many members you have. All of that is still here. It's presented in slightly a different manner than it was before, but it's still there. You still have a members tab up here where you can go in and add new members similar to what we showed you before. This is where you assign the, the user type. And again, there are now five of those. Now, once you have your user, then you can go here to licenses. And this is where you're going to now assign your licenses. So it's broken it down by the types of licenses you have. So at the top is going to be where your basic standard and advanced licenses are assigned. And what you see here is going to depend on what licenses your organization has. As you can see, I have five basic licenses and 20 advanced licenses that I can use and assign to users. You can see by the graph here that I only have two basic of my total, so it just leaves three available. And on the advanced side, I've got nine assigned with 11, un or, yes, 11 available pro licenses at the advanced level here that are us. So to assign a license uh, through ArcGIS Online now with this update, from here I just click Assign. It brings up my members, and I can choose who I want to assign a, a license. So if I wanted to assign this to Wally down here, click Assign, and now he's assigned that license. Then I can close this, and it takes me back uh, to my member list. The other way to do that is from the overview, right? I can manage my add-on licenses from here, so I just click that. It takes me to the license tab again, and once again, I can go through and assign. Now down here is where my extensions are, so if I wanted to assign, say, the Spatial Analyst extension here to somebody, go ahead and assign that to Nathaniel Keith. I assign that and then close. So it's very easy to assign licenses even in this new update. So there you have it. That is how you assign licenses in the new version of ArcGIS Online. Again, it's not very difficult once you know what's going on. So I hope that helps. Uh, again, we'll link this video to the other video we did earlier, now that this has been updated. Feel free to reach out to us if you need any assistance with ArcGIS Online, ArcGIS Pro, we're here to help you out at EGIS Associates. We believe that relationships matter, so just feel free to, to touch base with us. 
You can get us via our website at www.egisassociates.com. Give us a call at 678-710-9710 or shoot us an email at info at egisassociates.com. So with that, hope you all have a great one and we'll see you in the next video.